Now let us see how do you measure price elasticity of demand through percentage or proportionate method. Again, according to this method, there could be five situations. Now, basically, this method says that the elasticity of demand can be greater than or equal to zero, okay, and less than or equal to infinity. Now what does this mean? So you have various extremes out here. Okay. The first one is that your elasticity of demand is zero, which means that whatever may be, may be the increase or decrease in prices, demand is not affected by price. Let's say you have these private jets. Anyone who wants to buy it would normally be indifferent to the price. It may make some difference, but people are normally not thinking of the price when they buy this. The second could be this lies between 0 and 1. Okay, so it is greater than 0, okay, but also less than 1. Right? This situation is known as basically inelastic demand. Then you can have equal to 1. Okay. Now this basically is known as unitary elastic demand. So whatever be the change in price, there is a corresponding or a proportionate change in demand. The fourth one is that the elasticity is greater than 1 but less than infinity. Okay, so this is known as elastic demand. And the last one is that the elasticity of demand is equal to infinity, which means that it is perfectly elastic demand. Now we're going to look at each one of these independently in forthcoming videos.